Hello and welcome back to the Bookshelf Odyssey. My name is Art and we are exploring my bookshelves. Today I have an idea that I think sounded like a lot of fun that I wanted to uh, share with you all. I just saw this video on the channel called Cozies with a Cup of Tea and the host called it a uh, Which Cozy Would I Rather? And she was celebrating reading, having read 20 cozy mysteries with a, some would you rather questions. So I'm going to steal that idea from her. I will link her channel down below. I'd really encourage you to check out her, her work. Uh, I just subscribed and uh, it's a really, uh, she has a really delightful channel. Uh, so I'm going to be taking her would you rather questions. I don't know if this was original with her or not, uh, but I'll, I'll go ahead and direct you down uh, to her channel. So I went into the archives and collected all the 20 different cozy mysteries that I've read over the past year and went all the way back to April of last year, although a lot of them I read in the November, December timeframe. So they should still be pretty fresh in my mind. And I put them on a, a, a spinning wheel on my computer. So I'll be just drawing two at random to help me answer these 10 would you rather questions. I love the game would you rather on my uh on both my podcasts i have sometimes will ask these questions of my guests and it's always a lot of fun uh we can we we end up laughing and really having a good time with it so well let's get going and see which two books we'll start with the first two challengers are hark the herald angels slay by vicky delaney a part of the year-round christmas series uh it takes place in a uh year-round Christmas shop at a year-round Christmas town in uh, the fictional Rudolph, New York. Love that series. And the second one is Murder by the Book by Lauren Elliott. And that's the first book in a Beyond the Page bookstore mystery series. Uh, I really enjoyed that first one. There's some mystery coming into it. Uh, her, The main character uh, is Addie Grayborn and she, her fiancé was killed and also shortly after that her father was killed in a fatal car accident uh, having worked with rare books at the boston public library she decides to move to a small town opens a bookstore and a body shows up you know as is one to do in a cozy so the first question is which cozy would you make into a movie uh, so either hark the herald angel slay or murder by the book and that's a toughie um i'd probably go with the hark the herald angel slay and especially that series over the other because I, I think like if Hallmark wanted to do like cozy Christmas mystery movies, this would be a great series to do that. They could even capitalize on this book, Hark the Herald Angel Slay, because it takes place in July. Uh, so they could do for when they do like Christmas in July movies and things, it it would just fit perfectly. Uh, so I yeah, I would go with Hark the Herald Angel Slay. The second prompt is... Uh, which cozy would you use to build a fire in in an emergency? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> um, the two choices are the Twelve Sleighs of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost, part of the uh, Christmas Tree Farm mystery, and then the second choice is Silent Knit Deadly Knit by Peggy Earhart. I really enjoyed both of them. Oh no, I I don't think I could do either one. Oh, this is not fair. This is so not fair. <laughs> Well, if I was forced to ch choose between life and death and I had to use one of these books to start a fire, probably painfully say I would go with the Silent Night, or excuse me, I would go with Silent Knit, Deadly Knit for the only reason because I don't knit. <laughs> and that's the only choice I can, I can come up with. They're both great mysteries they're both set at christmas uh and, and the the 12 slaves of christmas has the added slight bonus that the books take place at a christmas tree farm um so if i had to you know it's either this or i die then I, i'm sorry peggy <laughs> uh, wonderful book both and uh this this is not fair that's that's all i'll say about that this is going to be hard third choice our books are we wish you a murderous christmas by vicky delaney and the secret book and scone society by ellery adams so again uh, delaney that's the year-round christmas 
mystery. Uh, so the, the secret book and scone society takes place in North Carolina and it's describing a, uh, the book says it's a quirky club that it's a, it's a book club. I believe I should, I should know I read it anyway. The challenge for this is, uh, so would you rather, what of these two, which cozy would you read again in one weekend? Okay. This one's a lot easier and that's We Wish You a Murderous Christmas. That's the second book in the year-round Christmas mystery series. And I um, really enjoyed that one. Um, the other one I mentioned, that was the third book. And that one was even better. But yeah, any of her books in that series, I would read in a weekend in a heartbeat, especially at Christmas time. Number four, which cozy would you pick to move to the town it takes place in? So we have... A Dark and Snowy Night by Sally Goldenbaum, and Mimi Lee Gets a Clue by Jennifer Chow. So this is great. We've got East Coast versus West Coast going on here. Uh, the Dark and Snowy Night book takes place in New England, uh, Massachusetts, I believe. Yeah, uh, Sea Harbor, Massachusetts. Which sounds lovely. And the uh, Mimi Lee Gets a Clue. This one is a really great story which is part of the Sassy Cat mystery series, and that takes place in uh, in Los Angeles. The main character's name is Mimi Lee, and uh, she has a very sassy cat who, who she can hear talk to her, uh, and it's it's really fun. Uh, I think she, she runs a groomer's, uh, animal groomer uh, business, so I, I really enjoyed that one. That was one of my favorite books I read last year. Uh, it was a good, good start. I'm hoping to read book two this year, uh, so it's on my TBR. Uh, but what was the question again? Oh, which which cozy would you pick to move to the town it takes place in? Well, as much as I liked Mimi Lee's story, uh, I would rather live in New England or in Massachusetts at a town called Sea Harbor than I would in Los Angeles. Just have no desire to live in a city of that size. Uh, so um, even though I liked Mimi Lee's book a lot better, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to pick Sea Harbor, Massachusetts, hands down. <laughs> no question. All right, number five. Uh, which cozy would you pick to never read another in the series? And our choices are Trick or Treat Murder by Leslie Meyer or High Spirits by Carol J. Perry. This one's a little more difficult, but I, I would say if I'd never read another book in that series by, uh, I would go with the, the Leslie Meyer series. Uh, she writes the Lucy Stone mystery uh, series, and I've read some in that series. I, they just haven't been really capturing my interest like some of these other cozies I have, and I absolutely love the High Spirits, the Haunted Haven series, it's called, I believe. Uh, it takes place at like a, a hotel. It's haunted. The main character can see ghosts. There's a, a, a delightful dog protagonist and she's only written two books so far in the series what i like about this is that there's also an overarching mystery uh about uh involving the main character uh why a seeming stranger willed her this this hotel in her in her will when she died uh we don't know that yet after two books so those clues are going to be kind of drawn out throughout the series and i had a chance to to interview carol uh, Jay Perry on my Christmas podcast this, this December, and she's just a delight. So absolutely, um, Haunted Haven, I would not want to give that series up. So sorry, Leslie Meyer. Um, I'm, I'm afraid I would, if given the choice, I'd have to stop reading yours. <laughs> I'm not sure now. This makes I, I f I'm starting to feel kind of mean. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Number six, which cozy would you pick to eat every food mentioned in the story? And we have A Brew to Kill by Cleo Coyle or Mrs. Claus and the Evil Elves. Okay, so that's a little bit easier to, to pick here because I love both of those quite a bit. Um, a Brew to Kill is from the uh, the Coffeehouse Mysteries. Uh, takes place in New York City in a, in a historic coffee house. The main character is Claire Cosi. And there's always just delicious coffee and good food mentioned. And uh, Mrs. Claus and the Evil Elves, there's some food that's mentioned but it's not like a food mystery so I, I would easily say um a brew to kill because that series has just it has coffee it has treats that go with coffee and i'm i'd be in heaven and i'd also be about 500 pounds <laughs> all right that's number six number seven 
Which cozy would you pick to take on a two week vacation as your only book? So let me get this right. I'm going to be gone for two weeks and I only get to take one book. Okay. Um, well, here's hoping we, we got some good choices. I've got Be My Ghost by Carol J. Perry. And that's the first book in the Haunted Haven series. And then Murder in an Irish Village by Carlene O'Connor, which is, I believe, also the first book in that series. I would say um, Be My Ghost because uh, both were enjoyable. I probably liked both just about the same, but uh, Be My Ghost is a little bit more funnier and has just a little bit more coziness to it, as well as it's kind of set at a vacation destination. So that would kind of keep my mind uh, on the um, uh, on a vacation kind of mode, frame of mind. But um, two weeks to read one book, that's just, for me, that's, that's, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my time <laughs> after a couple of days, but I could, I could make it work. Maybe I would just go back and reread it and looking for clues that I missed. All right. Number eight, which cozy would you recommend to someone who has never read a cozy? All right. So we have Eggnog Murder by Leslie Meyer. And I believe that's a collection of three stories. And then we have Death by Coffee by Alex Erickson. Okay, this is this is easy uh, because Eggnog Murder is actually three novellas by three different authors. So we have Eggnog Murder by Leslie Meyer as part of her Lucy Stone series. Death by Eggnog by Lee Hollis, which is part of his Haley Powell series. And then uh, Nogged Off by Barbara Ross. And I actually haven't read any other books in her series yet. Uh, but I would give them that book because you get three shorter novellas. You get a, a taste of what um, cozies will be like. And you get three really great, you get at least two out of three really good series to, to invest in. I, I only say that because I don't know uh, Barbara Ross's series very well. I haven't read any of it, any of the others yet, except for Nogged Off, which, which was a great, great cozy uh, Christmas mystery. Yeah. Okay. Phew. That one was a little bit easier. Uh, all right. Number nine, which cozy would you pick to dress and act like the main character? Oh boy. So I've got Cri Murder at the Christmas Cookie Bake Off by um, Darcy Hanna which is part of the, the Beacon Bake Shop mystery series. And then Death of a Country Fried Redneck by Lee Hollis. Well, uh, the main character of both are, are women, so that might be a little interesting. Um, <laughs> but I would, I would probably pick um, Murder at the Christmas Cookie Bake Off. Just, I mean, she works in a bakery. She gets up to hang out with a character in this book that may or may not be Mrs. Claus. Plus her house is possibly haunted. I love all the subtlety in in Darcy Hannah's books. So probably in a pinch, I would pick her uh, her main character. Uh, character's name is Lindsay Bakewell. Uh, I would love my name to be a pun. You know, be like Art reads a lot. You know, <laughs> uh, that yeah, that'd be great. All right, and then number ten, which cozy would you pick to read the next three in the series back to back? So we've got either Murder at the Blueberry Festival, also by Darcy Hanna, or Red and Gone by Allison Brook. Oh, that's that, uh, that's real easy. I, I would pick Darcy Hanna's series, hands down. That's probably one of my favorite series last year, if not my absolute favorite series. I think she's got a fourth one coming out this year. But um, yeah, I would I would read. I actually read all three, not back to back, but pretty close to that, which is kind of unusual because I usually even my favorite author, I can hardly, I, I can't read back to back. Um, I, I, it's a long story why, but needless to say, I read one too many Terry Brooks books all in a row and it just kind of burned me out <laughs> on him, unfortunately. And then I started getting easily, more easily burned out on other authors when I would read more than one at a time. So I like to kind of space it out and let them kind of let them simmer as it were. So but yeah, if anyone can can do it, it's Darcy Hanna because I think I read all three of those books within the space of about a month or two, which is is pretty unusual for me. So that's already been tried and tested, and it's it's just a delightful series, the the Beacon Bake Shop mystery. So you should read them. Well, that was 
uh, I don't know what to call it, if it's a, a tag or a prompt or what, but uh, which Cozy would I rather challenge? And that was a lot of fun. So thanks for to Cozy's with a cup of tea. Uh, you have a wonderful channel. It looks like uh, she's a relatively new channel, so you should go uh, you should go check out her, her channel. And I'll make sure to link it below, as well as list all the books I've talked about here. And almost without exception, most of these I read, I, I thoroughly enjoyed, and I'm going to be reading in the series throughout this this new year. So this might be a fun prompt to come back to again uh, down the road or find some more questions uh, maybe at the end of next year. That'll do it for me today. As always, make sure you like and subscribe as that really helps my channel. And I'd love to have you be a part of the Bookshelf Odyssey family where we are exploring our bookshelves. So I hope that you are reading good books today and take care.